Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back with another one, bringing to you a new one back on the Amazon Fire Stick. So today we got the brand new app for Crackle on the Amazon Fire Stick. They recently updated this for Roku and Fire TV. So I did want to bring this to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the old way the Crackle used to look. So this is the way it used to look. You have the movies, TV shows, the layout is completely different, the library is completely different, and now you're presented with this brand new look of Crackle. Take a look at these new features that it has to offer. So directly at first glance, you'll definitely notice that this app has gone through drastic improvements as far as user friendliness, as far as presentation and experience overall. And once again, I've mentioned this before, the streaming wars are beginning to heat up. Everyone's getting updated interfaces. Everyone's adding new channels. Everyone's adding ad-based services to these new streaming platforms. So within this update, you'll definitely notice a new navigation menu. You'll also notice an update video player within crackle that it uses so that way it'll prevent buffering and crackle does offer a huge library of video on demand also with crackle you'll be able to stream hollywood movies tv series and original crackle content and the best thing all about crackle is that you don't need an account to sign up you don't need any subscriptions crackle is completely free but it is a ad-based video on demand service so here's what the Crackle developer team had to say about the new interface and the app. It says here, we are now presenting our premium content offering into a total redesign and faster loading experience and faster loading experience, which has proven to deliver higher engagement and user loyalty with each new app release. Also, just a little background on Crackle. If you didn't know, Crackle used to be owned by Sony back in 2019, but it was acquired by Chicken Soup for the sole entertainment. And then also that same company earlier this year announced that it has reached a deal to purchase Redbox. So that's huge. So Redbox is going to fall up under Crackle at some point in time, but just stay tuned and look out for that. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the interface and see what it has to offer. All right, so we're back here on the Amazon Fire Stick, and I'm going to go ahead and search for Crackle. So I'm head to the magnifying glass, head down to search, and I'll use this keypad here, and I'll begin to type in Crackle. As I type in Crackle, I'm going to click on the second search result as it auto-populates. And then I'll see Crackle. It should be the very first app that you see. Click on Crackle, free movies and TV. And then it says here, watch free. Do we want to download Crackle? Let's go and click on download. Give it a moment to install. All right, so this is the brand new Crackle app that just was released today. So let's take a look to see what it has to offer. On the left hand side, you'll notice that it has a search feature where you can click on search. It gives you a keypad. And then also you have a home section where it gives you a spotlight of different movies that you can watch right now. And then it has new on Crackle where you have your new releases. Then you have popular TV, action movies, a bunch of different genres that you can cycle through here on the home screen of the new Crackle app. And if we go over to movies and click on movies, as we head over to the movies, you'll see a huge catalog. They have the genres on the left hand side. If you're looking for black entertainment, British classics, comedy, crackle originals, crime, documentary, the list goes on. Then if I scroll over to the right here, you can scroll and do an infinite scroll down and just cycle through each and every movie. Same thing for TV shows. I went ahead and clicked on that. Same thing, you have the genres on the left hand side and then you have the TV shows on the right hand side as well and you can do an infinite scroll down. So overall, I definitely love the app. There's a night and day difference from what this used to look like where the movies and TV shows and then what it now looks like with the movies and TV shows. So, and before we wrap this up, let's take a look at the settings here. The settings is where you're gonna control your closed captions. So your subtitles, it says here, do you wanna auto play trailers as you toggle over them? You have a kids mode, a teen mode, a grown up mode, but those basic policies are straightforward. You can turn those on if you need to, but for the most part, this app is definitely a huge upgrade from what it did look like before. Let me know your comments down below on what you think of this new update. I like it, I personally love it, and definitely let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.